But as we await for the quorum to be attained, which according to the standing orders of the House, is at least 15 members who are required to be in the House at any particular time when the House is sitting. As we await for that number to be attained, allow me to keep giving you some more highlights in regards to uh, the agenda for deliberations this morning by senators and uh, the other cabinet secretary who is set to appear before the house this morning is the CS for matters lands public works and housing honorable CS Wahome who will be answering questions from our senators this morning honorable Wahome will, among others, be responding to questions from uh, the Senator for Marsabit County, Senator Mohamed Chote, who wants, Senator, who wants the Cabinet Secretary to indicate a uh, respective value for each parcel of government-owned land that has been designated for the affordable housing projects in Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, and uh, Nakuru counties and indicates how many of the parcels are currently being developed since 2017. Honorable Homer will also be required to tell the House the value of the parcels of land assigned to respective developers for the construction of affordable housing and could the Cabinet Secretary also indicate the projected cost per square meter of each housing unit as well as the interest rate that will be charged to buyers of uh, the said units. The Senator for Nairobi County, Senator Traction Works, as well as the measures that are Traction Works, as well as the measures that are being put in place to reclaim the public land that has been illegally acquired or encroached upon as well as for a stall further land grabbing. These are, are concerns in, in regards to illegal land acquisition and uh, the CS is required to tell the House who indeed owns the title deed to the Tomboya Social Hall in Makadara constituency. The CS for Treasury, Honorable Professor Njuguna Ndungu, will also be required to answer to various questions. The CS for Treasury, is required by the House to tell the Senate plenary what has occasioned the failure by the e-citizen digital platform to process as well as reflect payments made to some institutions. These institutions are such as the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF, and could the Cabinet Secretary explain steps taken to remedy the situation? The senators also want to understand where does the convenience fee charged and all other payments fail to reflect on the platform end up and could the cabinet secretary report on the safety as well as efficiency and efficacy and reliability of the e-citizen digital platform in the light of the numerous complaints of delays and technical issues that followed the onboarding of a significant number of government services on the platforms. These are questions by the Senator for Nairobi County, Senator Edwin Sifuna, and remember upon uh, the reply of these questions, we usually have uh, supplementary questions by Senators in regards uh, to various matters raised before the floor. The House will this morning consider uh, the report of the 9th Interparliamentary Union, IPU, 
global conference of young parliamentarians held in Hanoi, Vietnam.